Hi, everybody. I'm Johnny Patterson, one of the co-founders of Dr. Pawpaw. And I'm Pauline Patterson, the other co-founder of Dr. Pawpaw, and we're also husband and wife. People will come to me and say, look, could you provide us with some advice? And ten it always tends to be that they've created it, they've made loads of product, and then they go, right, what do I do? So we were very much, what do you do before we create the products? Because we couldn't afford to make, you know, 200,000 products and then go, right, what do we do now? So my advice has always been, uh, first of all, the question should it be is, is the product that you're creating an innovation or is there a demand for it? If you've got an innovation and a true innovation, you're going to be very rich, especially if it's something that people want. So when you look at you know brands like GHD, Moroccan oil, they've literally, or, or the sheet mask, Craig, they've landed upon something that's you know, the first to market is a true innovation and they've flown. Uh, failing that, because it is really hard to come up with a true innovation, you come up with something that's in demand that people can't get readily. Uh, and, you know, that's what we've done. You know, we've come up with a concept of something that's not readily available in the market. And we've won base that people, there is that demand. So if you are creating, you know, a candle business, uh, which many people do, you have to really look at that and think why or why would people buy my product instead of that other product? Um, so innovation or a demand. Uh, the second thing is, you know, I would say having some sort of marketing strategy and a budget. Uh, back to my PR days when I used to do PR for restaurants and beauty businesses, the first thing that they would do is come into the meeting room with me, tell me all their plans, have a brilliant, shiny new product that I knew that would do well. But then I would say to them, right, so what's the marketing budget? And I'd say this to a restaurant, they go, we don't have any. So they've spent all their money on the products, but they haven't got money to tell people about it. Marketing if is probably just as important, if not more important than the value of the product at the start. Because it doesn't matter if you've got the shiniest and best new product in the world. If nobody knows about it, you're not going to sell one. Mm. So having some sort of budget for marketing and, you know, really, we always work on anywhere between 10, 15, 20 percent of our sales. Some years we might even put some more in, depending on what we think we're going to do. Having budget for marketing at the start is so important. Um, you got, you've got to shout about it. And I think. The third point, which I think is really important, is being positive and having the correct mindset. So I'm a big follower of The Secret. I read a lot of mindset books and you have days where you feel the world is getting you down and what you have to accept that that's just one day. You wake up the next day and it's, it's a new day. And really, only negative things happen in your mind is because you're telling yourself that you can change it by finding either the positives out of it or how you would change it. And if you change your, that mindset, I mean, interesting enough, when I was talking to the people that I mentioned last week, the people that had the jumpers, they just got themselves into a rut. They felt tired. They felt like they couldn't keep going. And just by having a conversation with some another business owner, they felt re-energized. And that's another thing that we do. We actually have a group of business owners that we talk to all the time just to Keep re-energizing ourselves. That you know, if if you feel negative, uh, generally I always feel positive, but it, it can be hard sometimes. So yeah, they're the three top tips.